Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn about finding area between curves. Here's the big idea. To find the area under a single curve, we're adding up the areas of an infinite number of rectangles. Here, I've drawn a rectangle at a sample point x, y. Note that the width of the rectangle is dx, which is actually infinitely small. We'll call the area of this sample rectangle dA. The area of this rectangle is the height times the width. The height is just y and the width is dx. Then we can say that the area under the entire curve is the sum of all of the da's, the sum of the areas of an infinite number of rectangles. And that would be the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. And now to find the area between two curves, what we'll do is take the area under the first curve and subtract the area under the second curve. Let's look at this from the perspective of a sample rectangle. Here's our sample rectangle. The top point is x1, y1, and the bottom point is x2, y2. We'll let dA be the area of this rectangle, and that area would be the quantity of y1 minus y2 times dx. Then the area between the two curves would be the sum of all the dA's. And that's the definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. Now, sometimes depending on the curves, it makes sense to have the sample strip horizontal. In this case, for example, if we use vertical sample strips, there are parts where we would have to have the curve minus itself. We wouldn't get y1 minus y2. Instead, we'll use horizontal sample strips. The width of the rectangle is now dy, and the height is x1 minus x2. That means dA equals the quantity of x1 minus x2 times dy, and that means the area between the two curves is the sum of the da's, which is the definite integral from a to b of f of y minus g of y times dy. And it's important to note here that a and b are y values. Let's do an example problem. Find the area between f of x equals two to the x and g of x equals the quantity of x minus one squared minus two on the interval zero two. The first thing we'll do is draw a sketch and then determine the orientation of a sample rectangle. Since the first curve is always above the second curve, we can use vertical rectangles. So that means dA equals the quantity of f of x minus g of x dx. That's the area of one sample rectangle. And so that means the area of the region between the two curves is the definite integral from zero to two of f of x minus g of x dx. We can use a calculator to solve this to get 7.661. One thing to note about this problem is that some of the area is below the x-axis. And since we're integrating from left to right, the definite integral for the g of x curve would produce a negative answer. But since our rectangles are vertical and we're taking y1 minus y2 to get the height, we'll get a positive result. Let's do another example. Find the area bound by f of x equals negative 3 fourths x squared plus 2x plus 3 and g of x equals 0.3x plus two. So let's go ahead and graph the functions and we'll use a calculator to find the points of intersection. Since the parabola is always above the line within the region, we'll use vertical rectangles to solve this problem. And that means dA, the area of one rectangle, is f of x minus g of x dx. And that means the area between the curves is the integral from negative 0.485 to 2.751 of f of x minus g of x dx. Then we can use a calculator to solve and we get 4.235. Let's do one last example. Find the area of the region bound by x equals one half y squared minus two and x equals y. When we graph this, we can see that there's parts of the region where the top of the parabola is above the bottom of the parabola. That means we should use a horizontal orientation for the sample rectangles. Let's call the line f of y and the parabola g of y. That means dA, the area of one rectangle, is x1 minus x2 times dy, which is f of y minus g of y dy. And that means the area of the shaded region is the definite integral from negative 1.236 to 3.236 of f of y minus g of y dy. Note that the limits of integration are y values. We can solve this with a calculator and we get 7.453. Well, that's it for now. 
I hope you now understand how to find the area between two curves. And that's how you rock calculus!